Hi everyone and welcome to Soften. So uh, this video is a short practice designed to calm, soothe the nervous system and just begin to soften. So a really, really perfect little yoga flow for the end of your day and I'd really recommend having your blanket handy for this one. See you on the mat. one actually a little different, we're going to come on to our knees. Now I know that knees can be a bit of a personal thing and there's a lot of us out there with knee issues or problems. So if this is painful for you, I'm going to urge you to just come and sit down, maybe cross the legs or have them out long, whatever feels best. Another option is, if it's a little bit uncomfortable to sit on the knees, um, grab that blanket or cushion or whatever you've got handy and lift up and then pop it between your hips and your heels. And that just plugs the gap a little bit and it's a little bit more supportive, so go for it. Now this time, um, this flow is all about softening, that's the name of it, so um, I'm gonna really urge you as we move through this practice to try and let go, to melt into all of these poses. You know, in life these days, if you're anything like me and the people I know, we're rushing and we're busy all day, every day. And it's really important that we take time to nurture and to soften and to slow down. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the backs of my hands, therefore, onto the tops of my legs. And I'm going to soften my fingers so rather than holding tension in them, they're actually going to be nice and soft and relaxed. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to close my eyes. So, noticing if there are any small sounds in the room with you right now. Just any uh, clicks, maybe noises from other people in the space, maybe in another room. Maybe noises from out in the street. And now we're going to take all of that awareness and focus. I'm going to bring it inwards. So we're going to take both hands gently onto the heart. Just relaxing the shoulders, softening the face. We're just going to take three quiet breaths here. So quietly inhaling through your nose. Just a nice letting go breath. And again, inhaling through the nose quietly. And a big releasing exhale. Last one, quiet breath in through the nose. Big breath out and releasing the arms as you do so. Blink and open the eyes gently. And then I'm going to bring, bring my arms up either side of me. I'm going to take a deep bend and I'm going to have these cool like cactus arms. Now I'm just going to turn around to face you guys. So opening up those elbows uh, about shoulder height. Now I'm going to swing my left arm underneath my right arm and I'm going to try and cross them as high as I can. So it'll be something like this. So I'm trying to get the cross to happen above the elbows, but if it's below, so be it. So wherever you are is great. Now, from there, I'm going to keep this twist going. So keep going in the direction of the twist. Now, you might find that you have a bit of space between the hands. You might find that the fingertips just about touch the palm of the hand. You might even bring the hands together if you're feeling particularly bendy today. Now, when you're in this crossing, you're going to relax your shoulders down. You're going to lift the elbows gently and draw the hands forward and away from the face. So we've come into these kind of eagle arms here and you can probably feel a lot happening in the shoulders. 
Uh, that's good, we're releasing some of that shoulder tension that we all carry around. Now, as we breathe in, we're going to lift the whole thing up, we're going to lift the chest, we're going to look up as we breathe in, and as we exhale, I'm going to curve the spine, I'm going to draw the elbows in towards the belly, and I'm going to curve my body and look down. So, a few more of these. Feel free if you want to find your own rhythm. Breathing in as you lift and open. And breathing out as you begin to slowly curve the spine. It doesn't need to be anything big. It doesn't need to be anything too exciting. You just need to gently move. And you can probably feel a lot happening in those shoulders. And you can probably feel the spine beginning to wake up as well. So this is the last one. When you finish, draw the arms back up to neutral. Release the hands, allow everything to dissolve and then just bring the arms nice and relaxed down to your sides. Draw your shoulders up to your ears. This is one of my favourite things to do. Big breath in. And big exhale. <sighs> just letting go of any tension that's hanging around. So we're going to come straight on to the other side when you're ready. Lift up those arms. Now, the most important thing is that we visit both sides. So don't worry if it's not the same arm as I'm doing. But for me, it's left underneath right. Big swing. And then again, catching as high as you can and then continuing uh, that twist as we keep going around and around and around. Now, wherever your arms are is great. Lift the whole thing up. Soften those shoulders. Sometimes it's actually more the mind, so you have to allow your shoulders to soften. Take a breath in as we begin that lovely movement. So inhale as we open and lift. Exhale, draw everything in as though you're drawing the elbows into the belly and curving the shoulders down. Inhaling, lifting opening, stretching, and again, it really doesn't need to be a big movement because this is already pretty strong. So take it easy, using that breath. One more big breath in. See if you can match up your movement to your nice, smooth, long breath. Get everything flowing in one. Come back up to centre. Breathe in, and as you exhale, let's dissolve. Ha! Ah. And feel free to make any noises that feel good just to release all of that. Take a breath in, shoulders to ears. Nice big exhale out. <sighs> Beautiful. So if you've got a blanket or something uh, stuffed under your feet, then remove that, place it to one side because we're definitely going to use it at the end. And then we're going to come forward to all fours. Now I'm going to take the fingertips as wide as we can and this time I'm going to tuck my toes underneath gently just so I've got that little bit more support than usual. Now I'm going to invite you here to begin to move as freely as you can. So it might seem a little weird at first. Close the eyes, shut that thinking brain off and just see if you can tune in to what your body needs from you from this morning or this evening, whatever time of day it is that you're practicing. What is it that you can do that's gonna feel really, really good? Because that's the whole point of this and what we're doing. What's gonna help you to lead a really good, or go through a really, really good day, feeling good, feeling free of tension, feeling a little bit lighter. So just a few more moments of this. There is no right or wrong. So I'm moving a little side to side in the hips. I'm making some circles, tipping a little weight into my hands, which can be really nice to wake up the wrists. But honestly, yours might look completely different. It might even be that you're really just dying for some cat cows. And if that's the case, then go for it because they're amazing. So, last few moments of this, and then we're going to come to stillness. Gorgeous. So, nice wide fingertips. 
Now we are going to come up to a down dog, but don't worry, that's about as active as this one gets, so don't panic. But I'm going to urge you, as we begin to melt up, if you can melt up, into your downward facing dog, and we're going to take this one really slowly. So it might be that you take a really deep bend of the knees and you might begin to walk the dog as we call it. So you're bending one knee and bending the other and melting each heel downwards. Or it might look a little different for this one. Maybe you just take a couple of bends with both of the knees, maybe moving the neck. You might come a little out of it and get into the spine. And then when you're ready, we're going to take a nice, slow walk up the mat, taking our feet bit by bit up towards the hands and I'm in uh, no rush with this one today so go super slow. Now when you get there I'm going to take my feet really wide so go for it, go for as wide as you like on the mat and we're going to come into a rag doll. So I'm going to bend the knees, I'm going to basically flop my upper body down over the legs. In fact, I'm going to turn to face this way so you can see what I'm up to. So I'm going to soften over and the bend of the knees is really important for this. I'm going to reach for opposite elbows and then I'm going to let go of the head. Tuck that chin in. The more I bend the knees, the longer my spine is going to feel and is going to get. So stick with this for a few more breaths. Now, the idea is, it's almost like I'm being hung up by my feet. And so everything is lengthening. So gravity is my friend with this one, and my spine is getting longer and longer and longer. So even if you're not super comfortable right now, bend the knees, take a big, big breath, breathe some life into your spine, into your back. And then as you exhale, ah, just let everything drain downwards and away. Remember, this is all about letting go and softening and melting. So see if you can embrace some of that. Beautiful. Last few moments of this, there might be a little free movement here. It might look like a little rock side to side. Or it might, in fact, just... Be following that instinct again, just moving in a way that feels good. And that's all we're trying to do here. So when you're ready, we let go of the hands with a thud. And then I'm going to bend the knees. I'm going to pop my hands on the mat. And I'm just going to step one foot back gently. And then the other. So I'm coming down onto my knees. Now for the good bit, we're going to come into a child's pose. So, I'm going to send my knees as wide as the mat. My big toes are touching underneath. I'm going to grab hold of this blanket and I'm going to make it uh, nice and plump. So I've got something to lay on, but feel free to grab anything you've got lying around, any blankets, any cushions, and make yourself that lovely tower that you can just <sighs> drape yourself over. But for me, I'm going to use this. I'm going to place it where my head will go. And then I'm going to pop my hands down and walk out slowly, 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 slowly does it. Another way that you can use the blanket is that if you find that your hips are not quite hitting the heels, in fact, if there's a big gap, grab a blanket and again, plug that gap up a bit and it can just make it a little bit more accessible and doable. So now for a good bit, I'm going to lay myself down, I'm going to relax my forehead down onto the mat. Hmm. And yeah, feel free to sigh as much as you want. So any time, and you're just going to stay there for a few breaths, any time that we come down into child's pose and our head is low, our nervous system begins to soften. Our mind, our thoughts begin to slow down, which is essentially what we're all trying to do with all of this. And it can be really, really relaxing. So especially if you're not the best sleeper, or you've had a busy day, try a child's pose. It will really, really be helpful. So from here, I'm going to stick with the child's pose, but I'm going to walk my fingertips over to the right. 
Now left hand is going to come on top of the right hand. I'm coming all the way off the mat and then I'm taking my head with me and releasing down. And same thing, I'm sinking back with my hips. I'm releasing everything down. I'm letting my chest gently open. And then when you're ready, walk yourself. We're gonna come through neutral over to the left. This time right hand comes on top of the left hand. Sinking down, releasing the head. And just tapping into that long, smooth breath here. Checking in, making sure that you're not clenching your jaw. Or frowning and just softening everything, melting into the mat. And then when you're ready, let's walk our way back to neutral. And this time, I'm walking my hands back underneath the shoulders and unraveling myself up. So I'm gonna bring my knees back in. If you're sat on something like I am, then releasing the blanket. And then from here, I'm gonna come down onto my belly. So you, I'm just gonna invite you to do that any way that works for you. So you can come through a fancy way if you like, or for me. I'm just gonna pop the hands down, I'm gonna walk my knees, and then I'm gonna come down with control, just easing onto the mat. Ah. Now, this should feel really nice. Take any wriggles and movements, make yourself gorgeous and long, and release the feet and the toes. Take your hands in front of you, release your forehead down onto this little cushion that you've created and then just find a nice rock side to side. So you're just basically uh, wriggling your hips gently and it eases out the lower back. It's just a good way of checking in. So a few more moments of this. Now, we're gonna come into a sphinx pose. So when you're ready, you're gonna take your hands underneath your shoulders and then where your hands are right now, you're gonna replace them with your elbows. So elbows are gonna come right underneath the shoulders and you're gonna let go of your forearms and have really soft fingers in front of you. And you can probably guess why this is called Sphinx Pose once you're here. Now, um, for years, I never really got Sphinx Pose. I used to just hang out in it in class and think, mm, okay, and I couldn't really feel a lot happening. At the moment, I love it. It's in every one of my practices, so I hope you enjoy it too. It's very soothing. So from here, I'm checking in. My elbows are right underneath my shoulders. Now, from there, I'm just drawing my shoulders back, and then it's as if I'm draw drawing my elbows back, and I'm sending my chest forward and through. Now, I don't want to think up, because then everything feels a bit squishy and definitely not soft. So I'm going to take three long breaths here. And again, just make sure that lower back is soft. If at any point you feel like the lower back is switching on and is a little bit tight or a little bit painful, then come out of it slightly and think forward, not up. And that usually does the trick. So last few breaths here. Now just before we come out of this, can you let go of your belly? I know that can be tough, we all kind of suck our bellies in all the time, but instead can you just let it, just let it hang? Let your jaw soften and just hang off your skull and just let yourself melt into the mat.
One last breath in here. And I could stay here all day and if you've got time, feel free to, but otherwise we're gonna slide the elbows wide, lay my upper body down. And this is where we're gonna finish our soften flow. So we're gonna take our hands in front of us. I'm gonna release my forehead onto my little cushion. And as usual, if you've got the time, then feel free to stay here for as long as you can spare and just breathe. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me for Soften and I wish you a very calm and peaceful day. Namaste. Oh, 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 oh,